Okay, so I did some rearranging today. I actually had two Yucca Rostrata here. I, originally there were three, one died. And uh, it was a smaller, smaller than the one you see in the shot right now. And it was actually smaller than this um, Yucca Gloriosa beside it. So it was just kind of being hidden. You could kind of see the spikes up top and over time it just wasn't gonna work. So I dug it out. There's the hole. I got some oleander back there and I just did a major haircut on the on a huge rosemary. So the oleander and the rosemary will kind of fill in that spot uh, with time. So I had a um, actually I had a euphorbia, a red robin euphorbia like this one, but it had flowered quite a bit and when I pruned it off the dead bloom stalks there was hardly anything left and it takes about a year before they start looking good again so you know I just said gone so I pitched it maybe I should have cleaned up the tools first but there we go there's the new home and uh, it's a lot bigger than I actually realized until I brought it out here and so Unfortunately, when it came out, that the soil it was in was just like pure sand. So when I tried to dig it out, all, literally all the soil fell away from the roots. But these are pretty tough plants. They dig them up in Mexico, chop off the roots, chop off the top, and just send the trunk. So um, there's still quite a bit of roots in that. And uh, I tr actually tried to get as much of that kind of sandy soil that it was in to begin with. And uh, this soil here is quite sandy, very free draining in general. This is a nice sunny spot and so that's where I stuck it and I actually think it looks pretty good. I trimmed up um, the old dead fronds because it had quite a lot. You can, could not even see the trunk so I just tried to clean it up a bit. See it there. So that's the new Yucca Restrata planting and I, I think it looks pretty good. So over time that should get quite big. Thanks for watching.